There are many options you have for adding a social experience to your Lifter LMS website. You could do something as simple as adding comments on lessons and maybe asking students to submit homework in the lessons and give each other feedback just in a simple comment thread. Uh, you could use BB Press for forums, Buddy Press for like Facebook groups. But in this video, we're going to talk about Lifter LMS social learning and how you can use it to add timelines to your website and where each student can create their own profile. My name's Will from Lifter LMS. Let's dive into it. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is make sure I have the Lifter LMS helper plugin installed and activated. If you haven't already seen our tutorial on how to use the Lifter LMS helper to add in your license key, be sure to check that out, the Lifter LMS helper tutorial. I already have that installed and activated, so I can head to add-ons and more. I already have my license key entered, and so I'm good to go to install social learning. So I'll find social learning here on the list, click install, apply, and then we will activate apply here in a second. There it is, activate apply. And this is just gonna install the plugin in the background for me. And now that that's been installed and activated, I can head to settings under Lifter LMS, integrations at the top, and social learning. Let me check to enable this integration, save changes at the top, and there we go. So we have a bunch of settings here. I'll talk about that in a second, but let's first see the major feature that social learning will add to my website. Under my student dashboard page, I'll now have a new section called my profile. If I click on that, or let me actually flush my permalinks real quick. We're getting a 404 error. Sometimes when you add a new plugin to a website, you can run into issues with the new link that's being created is not, um, is not really supported yet. So let's say save changes here. Uh, that's just flushing your permalinks is going to permalinks and saving changes. Now let me go try that again and we should be good to go. Under dashboard my profile, there it is. So you can see I now have a Facebook-like profile that I can fill out. I can upload a cover image here and a profile photo. Let me go ahead and do that so we can see what it looks like. Uploading my cover image there. Let me reload the page. There it is. And then I'll upload a cover photo as well. Just put that in there. So students can really customize their profile and um, then they can talk on their timeline. And the achievements that a specific student gets when they complete a course, pass a quiz, um, and there's a few other things you can set up will appear here on the timeline. So let me go complete a course real quick and you'll see that appear on the timeline. I'll just create a, a one lesson course and I can complete that and we'll see that as an achievement on my timeline. Let that save. There it is, save changes. And then let me go back and enroll in my course and I can complete it. Enroll students, view my course, get started, mark complete. Awesome, so now that I completed my course, we'll see that as an achievement right here on my timeline. And so that's kind of a cool thing where you can have some of those um, interesting achievements show up and other people in the community can comment on it, say, hey, congratulations. I'll also have some options under edit information here where I can change my name, add a bio. So I'll just put my name in here. I can add a bio, save my changes. And of course, this is the edit account area that already exists on your Lifter website. It just adds a few more fields here. So now if I view my profile again, I can uh, kind of display my information here. It shows me join date and all kinds of cool things like the courses I'm enrolled in and memberships, achievements, and all that. In addition to interacting in a social network style on your website, you can also encourage students to connect with each other off of your website if you want to as well. If I go back to the Lifter LMS settings under integrations and social learning, we can explore some of these settings here. For example, if I want to encourage students to share their Facebook, I can check that Facebook box there save changes, and then when students edit their account, they'll have an option to put in their Facebook URL as well, and that will show up in their bio. So if I go 
grab my Facebook profile real quick. Grab my Facebook URL here. I can add that onto my dashboard, save, and then go to my profile. And there it is. So people can connect with me uh, off the website on Facebook as well. So there are some cool things you can do around encouraging students to connect off your site. And there are a couple pages that are created. There's a student directory and a student timeline page. So those are pages that would be automatically created when you install and activate social learning. If I scroll down, there's the student directory. Let's check that one out. There it is. So this is showing all of the students on my website. You can see it's just a bunch of my profiles, but this would be a directory of all students where students could connect with each other and click into each other's profiles and see what's going on uh, with their profile. And then we also have the timeline feature. If I view that page, this is going to create a timeline on each of my courses. So every student in my Lifter LMS Quick Start course can check out this Quick Start course timeline and they can kind of talk with each other about topics involving that course. So that's sort of a rundown on Lifter LMS Social Learning and what it does. It adds the timeline feature where students can talk with others in their course. It adds the student directory where students can connect with one another and the ability for students to upload their photos and customize their timeline.